You've now finished the heel flap and you have something very unsock like looking um, here. This little knit part here and all these other stitches are hanging out here. We're now ready to turn the heel and that on the sock is this little bit right here. We've knit the heel flap back and forth here. We're actually going to change the direction of our knitting so we can start knitting the foot of the sock. I told you the human foot is a weird thing to make clothes for. <laughs> I was right, huh? Okay, and so this is what our work looks like, and I'll show you what I've done here. Sneaky little trick, because I'm just working back and forth on these few stitches, and the rest of them, the instep stitches are hanging out on the cord. I've actually taken my Addy Clicks and just disconnected the cord, and I'm just working on what pretty much amounts to, you know, double-pointed short needles here. But it works for me. Let me show you how to turn the heel. And again, different patterns have different numbers for things, and I'm going to follow what we have in this worsted weight pattern. So I'm going to purl across to my, my first short row turn, and in this case I want to get 12. Okay, I'm going to purl two together, purl one, and then you'll see I still have stitches. I haven't worked all the way across those yet, but I'm going to turn the work. Slip one, and the first stitch you slip, which is good because it gets the working yarn over on the correct side again. When you get to that same, you get to the turning spot again, you knit two together, you knit one, and you turn the work, still again with stitches left over here. You slip the first stitch to get the working yarn on the right side, and then you're just going to keep increasing. And some patterns won't even give you a number. They'll just tell you that when you get to the gap, which is, you can see here's a big gap between the stitches where I did knit two together. Last time you knit those two together, knit one, and turn the work. Or that was actually on the purl side. Slip the first one. And you're going to keep working across like this until you, have, until you work to the end of the needle on both sides. And you'll start to see here that your direction of your knitting is starting to, to um, turn. One bit of advice I have for working the heel. You, it will be almost impossible for you to pick up uh, to put this work down and pick it up and be able to continue from where you were because you can't count backwards on it. You're turning the work before you ever finish a row. So it's, uh, you need to find a time where you can sit down with limited interruptions, work through all of the rows of turning the heel, and then, um, then you can set it down and you can answer the phone and do whatever you have to do. But try to work through all of the heel turning stitches all at once. And I'll see you back for picking up stitches for the gusset. Thank <laughs> you.